Hi, I'm Dan Krinas, host of the Leader of Learning podcast, a part of the Education Podcast Network, just like the show you're listening to now. Shows on the network are individually owned and opinions expressed may not reflect others. Find other interesting education podcasts at edupodcastnetwork.com. listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology and instructional coach for my district. And I'm her producer and husband, Fuzz Martin. And it seems like I've been podding for life. <laughs> Not coding for life. <laughs> coding for life. Oh, Hi. I, I recorded you singing, by the way. I might, might drop that in the show. <laughs> then they'll get where we're coming from with our intro today. Yeah. That's fun. Sometimes I sing about my tech tools there. So get yourself amped up for the, <laughs> get a, a positive sometimes, smile on your face, get rolling. Sometimes yeah. I write songs about tech tools. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> about free tech tools that you can use in your classroom. Yes. So we are here. We are in March. We are cruising through this year. Coming up on spring break. Next week is spring break. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It's spring break for you. Like all of our family members seem to have different spring breaks. Correct. Very much so. Yeah. They are not consistent. So everybody just kind of gets a little time off to themselves. Yeah, basically. When the seven-year-old's home by herself because uh, everybody else is back at school. Right. And, <laughs> she won't be. She won't. Be. Kind of, it was a joke. <laughs> no, was she a, no. won't be. <laughs> that, that She'll was, be with her friends because she will not want to be away from her peers. No, she, she won't. She is a social life. she is so this week though we are coding <laughs> we're coding, coding. Um, it's been a few weeks since i've talked about a coding site and we all know how i love the code so there's a few more that we have to talk about um that i'm pretty excited for um the first one is called code Coded. for life <laughs> oh it's code for life it's first code one's for code life. for life okay yeah 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 so code for life and it is codeforlife.education. It would be a good place for you to search it up. Yeah. And I guess I should take a step back a little bit. Code for Life is created by, I think it's the Okado Group, O-C-A-D-O Group. Okay. So they have resources for educators and they teach about code and they want to make sure that everybody is able to do these things. So like they, you know, explain like computer science, like all kinds of stuff. So Code for Life is a way to give resources to both teachers and students to play. I'm going to highlight the play part that kids can do, but they do have a whole education section for like teachers and families and helping on like computer science teachers and things like that. So they do have tons of resources for that. So if you go to codeforlife.education, you can go to play. And when well, you, I'm about to be distracted, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. So go to code for life education. There's two, the screen is divided and you'll give your kids this option, like educate for teachers, blue play for kids, click get started. And then what's really cool is, I mean, it'll explain rapid router to you, but they play rapid router. now. like the kids can just click right through. But what I really like is starts in blockly. Okay. And yep. then it introduces you to Python so it walks you through like from Blockly to Python all in one place versus like pick one or pick the other. Like this will kind of walk you through. But what I like is like it gets you started. It like shortest route, like how you're going to get there. It gives you the vocabulary that kind of like this lesson's going to teach you about loops and repetitions. Like these lessons, I should say there's more than one, like getting started is levels one through 12. Loops and repetitions is going to be levels 19 through 28. And loops and conditions if only limited blocks, procedures, blockly brain teasers. So, and these are all like levels you work your way through. And then it brings you to the Python levels. So introduction to Python and then Python and that's levels 92 through 109. So what's really cool is that you can actually work yourself through your levels from block coding to Python coding all in one space. So as a kiddo, you can go ahead, like the kids can figure this one out pretty quickly. Get started. What do you want to do? 
click the first sentence, it'll tell you level one. Can you help the van get to the house? You're driving down the street. <laughs> so choose to write blocks, drag your blocks, drag and drop. Super easy. Play. And then you start. And then you start coding your little van down the street to see what it needs to do. And it's really cool because, again, it's blocks. You're just dragging and dropping. So you got to drag and drop where you want your little car to go. And you put it and you make a drive down the street. So what's nice about this is it's great for introductory kiddos that are learning how to do this. But then also like there's hope for kids that are moving through quickly if they're able to like advance, mm -hmm. like they can just keep moving up the levels and keep working and trying on things. So, so it's kind of fun. So go ahead and drop your code in, start with your little van, Tidy, move forwards, hit play. And oh, look, my van drove down the street. Woo! And Whoa. I got some coins. So um, it's really kind of fun. It's a great way to get kids started in coding and it connects nicely to then Python to keep them moving forward and challenging them. Great. Are you driving a van right now? I am. Yes. <laughs> and it's really cute. Like it's very like easy to understand for kids. It's also colorful and it's very like you got a little van on the street and they keep adding things to the street, go to the next lesson. You just go back and forth and go ahead to the next step. So there you go. You got all kinds of fun things to do in code for life starting with driving a van down a street with black coding. Tiddy. Wow. I'm, I'm just cranking through. I'm cranking through. Nice. I'm pretty much a master coder now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, why don't you try some Python instead? Um, what I like is like, like Python gets to like your traffic lights and your intersection stuff. Anyway, you can definitely register, create yourself a login as a teacher or a student. Students can have logins. So then they have access to their things. You can have class codes, all that kind of stuff. So code for life Check it out. It has a great collection of resources for teachers, um, whether you are a computer science teacher or if you're just teaching some coding in your classroom. They also have a multiplayer game that you can register for as well. And there's different stages for computer science for that too. So that is another way for you can connect that into computer science too. So code for life, very fun to start our coding and getting our kids going on that one. Yeah. I might be playing this for life, you know? <laughs> No. Okay. Well, I have another site to talk about because when we're talking about coding, I always like to share things that are going to be for our younger students mm -hmm. and then for some of our older students. So the second app you might, or second website, I should call it, you might be more interested in just because of the challenge. So it's called Coden Game. Coden Game. Like, <laughs> Coden Game. C O D I N G A M E dot com. Coden Game. It's Coden Game. Coden. Okay. Coden Game. Coden Game. Coden Game. Hey, what you doing today? You're Coden, Coden, Coden Game. I'm Coden. Wow. We are on a roll today. <laughs> we are. We are Wisconsin through and through. Coden Game with your toast. I'm going to have some toast and play my Coden Game. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put that in a bag? <laughs> in a big. In a big. Put your toast in a big. Put your toast in a big. <laughs> with your milk. <laughs> And we, can, and we can go buy some milk. Okay. Go to the office and do some coding. So we we'll go some coding. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm really sorry. I'm so, not. Coding I game. I live for this. Coding game. Coding. What's really cool about this. So this site is set up for, I would say, students that are very familiar with coding. Yeah. Like they need to have some background. But what's really great is it gives them the background. Like if you were a developer, there is a developer <laughs> mode to be working in. So it is not just like black coding. It's not just so like simplified. This is like real coding. Oh yeah. Okay. So they have results like to find out what hiring looks like today, like technologies, salaries, like they even have like tips on how to get hired as a coder, which is awesome. So that's cool. Yeah. And you choose if you're a developer or if you are like searching for coders or if you are a coder and you're practicing. So there's a whole like onboarding process with this you don't have to go through the whole thing and be, you can be a part of the community again this is older students i would say upper middle high school i mean some really strong middle school coders there is a gr like they can join the community and have stuff like that but also so what they do is they throw out these like coding problems and then you have to solve them so like coding game lets you improve your coding skills and games and then it like it tests out your ideas as you code through so you can be like solo or multiplayer code games as you're creating them. And then it, it has you practice certain skills and then go through and test them out as you're building as well, which is pretty cool. 
And so you can choose your programming language, which they have a whole list of programming languages. Yeah, I see that. That I am not familiar with. Like they are, I mean, I know Python. Yeah. I know some Java. But then. C, C Sharp, C++, PHP, Ruby, a whole bunch of them. I yeah. I don't have the, so, oh, here, here's the script. list. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's probably 20 different ones in there. So Yeah, which is really cool because it's going to give you, like it really gives students exposure mm-hmm. besides like the basics that they're always seeing, which is awesome. And so then it like, like first I picked Python because that's what I'm familiar with. And it will give you like your program. I picked Python too. Aww, Aww. Fun. Look at us. So your program must destroy the enemy ships by shooting the closest enemy with each turn on each turn. It tells you like how to set your code with enemy versus destroying. And then it tells you what to do within the code. But then within the game, like you got to put it in the right spot. So you got to make sure that when you're putting your code in, that you're in, like putting it where it needs to go and that you're following the directions. And then they have you like test it out which is pretty cool. So like achievement unlocked. What's the next button? Yay me. I can yeah. move on. But it's really cool because the graphics are very authentic looking yeah. and the code watching yourself code is very cool. You can play like the different test cases. You can submit your own, like how you would set things up. There's all kinds of ways and you work your way through. You can do all of this. The onboarding is just like basic. This is how to set things up here. Mm-hmm. And then you can go in and there's all kinds of ways to create and set and practice all types of code. So if you are super familiar with Python and you want to try something totally different, you can click on that button, change it out. And like, I'm going to try out Ruby coding. Cool. Great. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to read about it. So it was the original language that Twitter was written in. Really? Ruby on rails. Yep. Fun fact. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's just all kinds of cool. So anyway, so coding game really gives you exposure to like upper level coding, looking at what else is out there, being a part of this forum and kind of making connections with other coders and things like that. And the best part is like it's all free. Free. Which we love because if we can expose kids to coding, especially at upper levels and you know, being exposed to like this is what your job might entail later on and what does this look like? And here's, you know, all that kind of stuff is pretty cool. So I say check it out. There's a lot of options that they can choose from and it's a very cool site to work with. When you're in the home page and you have like your little I guess dashboard, mm-hmm. your your students can stay anonymous. They don't have to like sign everything in. So if you want your kids to stay anonymous, I suggest they do so. They can connect with friends on this. So that is something just to be aware of. And I also appreciate like employers, like screen developers, like this is an assessment that you could test out. Like yeah. this is what you could assess on if you're going to be a developer and you want this to be your job, try it out. Like the fact that this connects with real world skills, I think is awesome mm-hmm. because like there is so much coding out there in the real world. What a great way to expose kids to practicing coding. And then also like this connects to real world people that also are developers and things like that. So coding game. Coding game. So it's like coding. It's code without the G. Without the G. Coding. Coding game. Coding game. Dot com. I-N game. Yeah. Dot com. It's like they took coding and game yeah. and they got rid of one of the G's in those two and just smashed mm-hmm. them together. Like an app smash. It's like an app smash. Schnaz. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. So, coding code for game. life, coding game. Go get some coding done. Yeah, you got to go. And you got all spring break to do it. You got an extra week here because we'll take a week off, a little break here, and you can code. And then I want to hear about all the coding. And maybe we'll report out on the coding that we've done over break. I think that's a good idea. Or what you're doing right now. What am I doing right now? I assumed you were coding. I was coding. <laughs> <laughs> were you playing a game? Yeah. Or were you just coding? Pl- I was playing a coding game. Nice. All right. Got some extra XP points. Good work. Yeah. Experience points for those of you who don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at SmartNWI. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology discussed in this episode, visit SmartNWI.com. If you'd like to support the show, please consider buying me a coffee or two. Visit buymeacoffee.com slash smartnwi or visit smartnwi.com and click on that cute little purple coffee cup. Your donations help keep this show going. New episodes each week, except for next week because we're taking a break. 
Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed on this podcast and the Smart NWI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed on this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we sure hope they do. Coding for life. Coding for life. Coding for life. Coding for life. <laughs> Enjoy your spring break. <laughs>